The playoff race is underway in the NHL, folks, and what I just witnessed was nothing short of terrible. I'm talking about the Carolina Devils game that was just played. My Canes lost 5-2. to two. It happens, I know. But the reason it happened is what really irks me. This much-needed game was important to keep our playoff chances in very tight Eastern Conference alive. Before this game, the Hurricanes were holding on to the final wildcard spot, behind the New Jersey Devils. But after the Islanders blanked the Rangers, not only did we give up two vital points, but we also dropped out of the final wildcard slot. Not a big deal at present, but this could prove costly down the road. As of late, our biggest problem has been what was supposed to be Ron Francis' uh, savior to the franchise, netminder Scott Darling. Darling, the hand-picked tender from Ron Francis, has been nothing short of dreadful this year. When he's on, he's on, but as of late, his switch has been stuck in demo. Last night's thrashing by New Jersey saw Darling lit by five goals, three of which came from being out of position, while the other two came 32 seconds apart on his notoriously weak glove side. In those 32 seconds, on neither shot did he raise his glove. It sat on his blocker, as it has a number of times this year. Now let's get something straight. I am not here to bash Scott Darling. Lord knows he saw enough of that, from myself included, after the game on Twitter. My beef isn't even with him, uh, isn't even with him or Bill Peters. My problem is management. Ron Francis, I've admired you for many years, but as a GM brother, you need to shape up. You've given out crap contracts to guys who are decent players, but not that decent. Victor Rask, who is in his second year of a six-year deal, is not playing to his contact's potential. And then there's Darling's four-year, $4.15 million deal. It's a toxic deal considering his abysmal play this season. Now, I'm not done either. Your captain's tendency to stand around on defense is not, does not reflect what it means to be a leader. Justin Falk is a decent player, but his stat sheet says otherwise. Having only one season where his plus-minus was in the positive, which is sad, because it was a 1 in 2012-2013. His all-time plus-minus stat is minus 100 as of this recording. And then there's Jordan Stahl. I really have nothing negative to say about him per se, but it's how he's used. He gives his all on every play, but is expected to be his brother Eric. Jordan is your guy for face-offs, setting up plays and tenacious defense. But you're going to wind up turning him into his brother by burning him out. If it were me, that captain C would be on Justin Williams. The alternates would be Jordan Stahl and Sebastian Ajo. Yeah, Ajo's 20 years old, but the kid is the cornerstone of your franchise. Jeff Skinner and his streaky play taking out of him, taking him out of that spot in my book. The team could also stand to use a few more physical guys. Speed is nice, but teams like Boston and Pittsburgh, who are bigger and faster than you, are going to win every time. I could go on for days on how to improve this team, but that's all the time I've got for this one. Yes, I'm tweeting this video to my canes in hopes that maybe someone there might see it. With that being said, yeah, I've talked a lot about the negatives, but I am and always will be a caniac. Let's go canes. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and share. And if you want to be part of the notification squad, click on that bell. I'm Great Yami Sam. Have a good one.